all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon. So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a parking camera, which I'll show you when we run through the controls. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer over on the right-hand side, along with the fuel gauge. And then in the middle, you can see, firstly, the total mass of the car. They are 60,497. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer, fuel economy information, your stereo, as you can see, satellite navigation, uh, eventually all the way back around to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are just here. We have stereo controls surrounding that. Over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, as well as phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the central screen just here. Hit the phone button uh, and then connect, and then you pair a new device from there. When it comes to your music, we have the radio, and as you can see, we have DAB, FM, and AM radio available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do so via the CD player. This car's also got Bluetooth audio and auxiliary inputs as well. As I already mentioned, we have satellite navigation, really nice, clear color display. It's a very easy system to use. And as I already mentioned, we've also got a parking camera. What I didn't mention was that it's a 360 parking camera. So yes, we have the reversing camera here, We've also got a bird's eye view image of exactly where the car is parked. And it goes uh, a couple of steps beyond that. If you press the camera button, we get a front facing camera and the bird's eye view, a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel as well. And this car has autonomous parking, meaning it's able, meaning it's able to parallel park uh, or perpendicular park itself. Select either one of these options and the car will give you ins instructions as to what to do and it will take control of the steering once it finds a space for you to drive into. You can cancel that at any time you wish to. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning's on at the minute. That's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Any manual adjustment, will override auto straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We've also got a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. 12 volt charging socket, our electronic handbrake with auto hold function, a six speed manual gearbox, and then both driver and passenger heated seats. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. We have a button up here that will open up the sun blind. Uh, this is a fixed panel of glass, but as you can see, it lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.